working with a single function that represents a probability distribution over many variables, is often computationally expensive. This is why, we often work with the factorized versions of such distributions. Structured probabilistic models, are the representations of these factorizations using a graph. There are two kinds of such models, directed, and undirected. We will now consider both of them, and learn how to interpret them. You can now see the directed model for the random variables, E, B, C, D, and G. It is called directed, because the nodes are connected using arrows. These graphs, represent factorizations into conditional probability distributions. Let's see how can we interpret this model. According to the general formula, we simply have to write the product, of the conditional distributions of every node, given their parent nodes. Let's now write this factorization. First, look at the node, E. We see that it has no arrows directed towards it, meaning it has no parent nodes. So we just write the probability of, E. Looking at the node B, it has an arrow directed towards it, from the node, E. So we write the probability of B, given, E. The node D, has two arrows directed towards it. Meaning it has two parents. Hence we write, probability of D, given E, and B. Node G, has a parent B. We write the probability of G, given B. The parent of the node, C, is D. We write the probability of C, given D. We should now have an understanding of how to interpret the directed models. Let's now have a look at an undirected model. You can now see an undirected model, over the same random variables as before. A set of nodes that are all connected to each other, form a clique. According to the general formula, we simply have to write the product of the functions of cliques, and divide them by the normalizing constant z. These factors, are not necessarily the probability distributions, so they don't always sum to 1. That is why, we introduce a normalizing constant z. Let's now interpret this undirected model. First, we write a normalizing constant. Then we see, that E, B, and D, are all connected to each other. Meaning they form a clique. So we write one function for them. B, and G, are also connected to each other, so we write a second function for them. What's left are C, and D. We write a third function for them. This concludes how we interpret the structured probabilistic models.